You're watching McLaren Poor here on today's health program, and I'm here today with Casey Paul, talking to her about her involvement with a new program at McLaren Poor here on called Levi's Link for special needs patients. Casey, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Let's start out with you telling a little bit about yourself to us. Well, my name is Casey Paul. I'm 15, and I go to Marysville High School, and I'm working on getting my gold award for Girl Scouts. That is excellent. It's fantastic, and that's a great achievement. So I'm, I'm assuming you're super excited about that, first of all. What made you um, initially contact the hospital? Why did you do that? Well, for the Gold Award, you have to have something that will create everlasting impact on your community. And I've been through several surgical procedures and been to several different hospitals for different visits. And for me, it's been really scary for some of them. So I just wanted to make it easier for children. What, um, so uh, since you contacted the hospital, where have you gone with the program and your project that's affecting it? Okay, well, my aunt is a nurse practitioner and mm -hmm. she was involved with McLaren several years ago and is still involved with them. And so I got contacts and I was like, hey, I really want to do something for children to make mm -hmm. it easier. And then Megan Wilson contacted people at the hospital who, Megan Wilson is Levi's mom, mm -hmm. and she said, hey, I want to start up Levi's Link. And I thought that was a great idea. And so I took over the social story and a video, so I'm able to be in charge of it. Could you give us a little bit of background on Levi's Link, what you know of it and your involvement in it right now? Yes, Megan Wilson, like I said, is Levi's mom, mm -hmm. and so her child has autism, and I've been around several children with autism, mm -hmm. and so we really just want to make it easier for children with autism and any disability, and even just children to make it easier. So when the children are coming in for surgical procedures, um, this is what you're doing, is, is your part of the project is helping them ease into that, is that what it is? Yes, I am in charge of making a social book, okay. a social story, and so it has step by step. I made a script, I made a video script, and I'm taking pictures too, and we all put it in a book, so it'll be step by step on how the procedure is going to go, what's going to happen, so that the kids will come and know exactly what's going to happen. So this is a book that will be given to them prior to their surgery, correct? Yes, and then it'll be online too. Okay, that's very exciting. So what, um, in your experience and, and what you've done so far with the project, what is something you're taking away from that, or what have you learned? What has been a Big impact on you? I have realized that every child is different, every person mm -hmm. is different. Some things that people will think scary, they'll be, other people will say, oh no, it's not a big deal. Other people will come in knowing what's going to happen and find other things that will be scary. So everyone is different. And then leadership wise, it's you have to make things very specific. Mm -hmm. If you make it too general, then we're not really sure what everyone's talking about. Mm -hmm. So you have to be really specific. Mm -hmm. And it's, yeah, it's exciting. So it's been a great experience for you. <laughs> yes. Well, Casey, we appreciate your time and effort you've been putting into this project. I know us here at McLaren Port Huron wish you all the best in achieving your Girl Scout Gold Award. I know it's the highest award you can get. And um, we, we just wish you all the luck and the best in your future endeavors. Thank you. This is Sarah Tate reporting for McLaren Port Huron today's health program.